On the top right of our screen, we see a bright white interface with posterior shadowing. This represents the tibia. The reason for the posterior shadowing is the attenuation and absorption of the ultrasound beam from the bone matter. So that's the tibia. Deeper in the image is a similar interface, bright white interface, with posterior shadowing. That represents the fibula. And then this line going across the screen on a diagonal is the intramuscular septum. These three structures create what we call a triangle mm -hmm. of which the posterior tibial vessels and perineal vessels will be located. That's great, Susan. Let's go ahead and proceed with our compression maneuvers proximally to the confluence of the popliteal vein. On our image, we can see a couple of vessels just below the intramuscular septum and above the fibula. As you're performing these compression maneuvers of our deep vessels, let me point out where they're located. This is the intramuscular septum, and there are two veins next to the adjacent artery. These are the posterior tibial vessels. So there are two posterior tibial veins adjacent to one posterior tibial artery. If you look deeper in the image, on top of the fibula, you will see two veins and an artery. These are the perineal vessels. Two perineal veins and one perineal artery. Mm -hmm.